Good morning, Cyber Friends. This is Midi Man again, coming back at you from Walker's Music. Wednesday, beautiful morning. Bright and sunny. A little chilly, but it's bright and sunny, and we thank God for that as well. Uh, we also thank God for life, health, and strength, and uh, for and being on top of the ground instead of under the ground. We give Him praise and glory for that. Wanted to say this morning, my as my my topic said, Jesus didn't care, and neither do I care. And I wanted to make certain and make make a make a very, very good point this morning, and uh, make a to see could I make something kind of clear to everybody. You know, people we we've gotten some of us. I think we've gotten a little bit even more more. I should say righteous than even Jesus himself some of us and uh, there's nothing wrong with trying to be right we should always do that we should try to do the right thing that's what he wants us to do hear ye O Israel the Lord our God is one God therefore we should love him with all our heart soul mind and body and all our strength second one is like unto it love thy neighbor as thyself on these two commandments rest all the prophets and the law law and the prophets that take care of all of them them too all of them is summated in those two but I got something I want to read to everybody this morning from the scripture. From the scripture. Like I say, I always back up everything I say with the scripture. And once that is happened, I don't care what nobody else think or what nobody else say because it's what God says what matters. Now, here's the scripture. St. John, second chapter, first verse. And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee. And the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto him, They have no wine. Jesus said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? My hour is not yet come. His mother said unto the servants, Whatsoever he say unto you, do it. Let me re let me repeat that. Let me repeat that. Cause I don't think a lot of us hear what the scripture is saying, what the spirit is saying to the churches, what the spirit is saying to the individuals. We are the blood bought church of Christ. Those that have been born again. Let me read that again. His mother say unto the servant, whatsoever he say unto you, do it. May God add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his word. In other words, whatever Jesus say, that's what we do. People, that's the basis and the foundation of my whole life. Whatever, and it's not always easy, but whatever Jesus say, that's what I do. I don't worry about what T.D. Jakes say so much. But as long as T.D. Jakes speaking what this say, then I'll follow T.D. Jakes. As long as Benny Hinn saying what this say, I follow Benny Hinn. But whatever you go against the grain, that's when our middle man is not going. Jesus didn't care what people said, neither should you. Jesus didn't care about that. And the re I'm going to prove it. There was a lot of things. Now, Jesus was always invited to all the parties. That lets you know Jesus was a fun, outgoing person. Sinners loved him. Why did sinners love him? Because he wasn't judgmental. Jesus stayed on those religious people more than he ever said anything. He said they would get into heaven before the Pharisee did. Remember, all of us with these Pharisee spirit, we need to take a lesson from the scripture. It was a Jewish custom and a law that no Jewish person would even go up under the roof of a pagan. But when the Roman centurion came to Jesus about his servant, Jesus got up and was willing to go with him to go into his house. Because why? Jesus wasn't studying about no tradition. He was God himself. He was Emmanuel. He is the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings. Yahweh, what you take your pick, all you religious folk, take your pick. But all of them says the same thing. Whether you call him Yeshua or Jesus, they still talk about the same person. It's talking about the second person of the Trinity. It's talking about the Son. Whether you call him Emmanuel, whether you call him the Lily of the Valley, the bright morning star, call him what you want. But all of them talking about the same thing. People need to get out of that spirit. Do what Jesus say. Forget about popular opinion. People going to say whatever they want to say. 
They go, whether you do this, if you do it or this, somebody going to have something against that. If you do it over here, somebody going to have something against that. You're never going to please people. Jesus couldn't even please all the people. Because a lot of them, when the, when the teaching got hard, they turned and left Jesus. Don't worry, but if they left Jesus, they're going to show leave you. And, 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 and even some, more than others. So we cannot worry about what people say. What people say don't make no difference. They ain't not one of us out here. Me, JT, nobody else that's on the videos, on the YouTube channel, Facebook, and none of that other mess. Ain't none of us going to be sitting on no throne judging nobody. But this right here going to judge everybody. The word of God. So if you do what Jesus say do, rest assured you'll be all right. His mom said, whatever he say do, that's what you do. Forget about people, please. Forget them. Because let me tell you something. Jesus was the sinner's friend. Jesus said, I came to seek and save those that are lost. And that was all of us. Ain't none of us got it worked out. So it's some good in the worst of people. And it's some bad in the so-called best of folk. You know, you, we, none of us have made it. But we're going wrong by wrong. Round by round. We are, we are, we are pressing toward them all. We ain't got that yet. And this is the problem that Jesus had with the Pharisee. They were always talking about they were so righteous and, and, and looking down on other folk. You better watch yourself. Jesus said, harlots and stuff get in before you do. Jesus said that. That was his word. So I'm just take it for what you want. Jesus didn't care. Neither do I. But I do what he say do. And it's not always easy to do what he say do. And a lot of times, I fall short. I don't know about the rest of y'all out there because, see, you know, I know a lot of us ain't never done nothing. And we don't ever do anything wrong. But I wish, I can't say that. Because me, the man, do, uh, I fall short in a lot of ways and a lot of time. But there's one thing I know to do, to try to do just what Jesus' mother said. Whatever he say do, do it. And that's all you need to worry about. With that being said, this is me, the man, saying peace. Goodbye.